Melissa with Lovable Loops here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a unicorn hat and matching diaper cover. Okay, so we're going to start with you need your worsted weight yarn number four. I have my J six millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a tapestry needle, stitch marker, and a pair of scissors. Okay, I'm just going to move that stuff out of the way for now. All right, you're going to start by making a magic ring. And if you don't know how to do that, I have my tutorials linked below. You're going to chain two and you're going to make 12 double crochet into your magic ring. If it is helpful to you to mark that first stitch, you can use your stitch marker to do that. And you're making 12 double crochet. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm making this in a um, zero to three month size, the hat and diaper cover. It's perfect for newborn photos. So this would make a really great baby shower gift. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Perfect. Okay, now you're going to join to that first double crochet. Okay, you can tighten the magic ring. Okay, all right. For round two, so round one is completed. We have twelve double crochet. For round two, I'm going to chain two, and you're going to put two double crochet into each stitch from round one. Your first two double crochet are going to go into that same stitch that you just joined. So that chain two does not count as a double crochet. So one, two, and again, it can be helpful, especially when you first begin crocheting, to mark your first stitch in the round. Go to my next stitch, and two double crochet into that stitch. continue that around and after you complete this round you will have 24 stitches. Now we have completed round two. We put two double crochet into each stitch. I'm gonna count my stitches. 
I should have 24 double crochet. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Perfect, great. I'm going to remove that stitch marker. I'm going to join to that first stitch. Pull my yarn through, pull it through the loop on my hook. Once again, I'm going to chain two. And this round, the pattern is you're going to place two double crochet in your first stitch, one double crochet in the next, two double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet. So you're just going to alternate between two double crochets in a stitch and one double crochet in a stitch. And again, your first two double crochet go into that same stitch that you joined to. So one, two, I'm going to place my stitch marker on my first stitch here. One double crochet in the next stitch. Make sure I'm staying on track with my pattern. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. So we just completed round three. I'm gonna put my hook down and count my stitches. Two double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next two stitches. So it'll be two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. So go ahead and chain two. 
place two double crochet in that first stitch. double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one and one. Two double crochet in this stitch. One. should have 48 stitches at the end of round four. So let's go ahead and count those. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Perfect. All right, now for rounds five through 13, you're just going to double crochet in each stitch around 
I'm going to do round five with you and then I will meet you back here to do the scalloped edge. So let's go ahead and start round five. You're joining your yarn, chain two. For each of the rounds, your first double crochet will always go into that very first stitch there that you just joined to. And again, you're just making one double crochet in each stitch around. Place my stitch marker. So at the end of each round, for five through 13, you will have 48 stitches. And again, this is a zero three month size. that I'm using is like an off-white because for my unicorn hats I like to use pastel rainbow colors um, I just think it looks the pastel rainbow colors look really pretty with this off-white color and then the horn I make in like a really soft gold And you can see, since we are no longer increasing, our hat is already starting to curl, which is what we want it to do. We want it to curl downward. Um, the side that is facing you, this is the right side. The side that's facing away from you, that is the wrong side. So this is gonna be the outside of our hat. This is the prettier side, the side that we want to see. Okay, I'm gonna finish this round. So again, because we stopped making increases, since we're only putting one double crochet in each stitch, our hat is now forming the sides of the hat. It's no longer forming the crown. Okay. 
So we have completed rounds one through five together. So now you're gonna continue on for rounds six through 13. You're just gonna do the same thing and double crochet all the way around once in each stitch. And I will meet you back here to do our scalloped edge. Okay, all right, we're back now and you should have 13 rows completed for your hat. Before we do the scallop trim, I wanted to just quickly show you how I, um, what measurement guides I use. Um, I found this online. This is a hat sizing measurement chart by Janine Steinhilber for the Crochet Crowd. And I really like this chart because a lot of the charts that I found I felt were too small. Um, so if you could look here, so newborn to three months, the head measurement, so the circumference would be 13 to 14 inches. The hat crown size is 3.5 to 5 inches and the hat height is 4.5 to 6 inches. So the head measurement would be the circumference. If I measure my hat laid flat here, it is 6.5 inches across. So the circumference would be 13 inches and it does have a little bit of stretch to it. Um, so the circumference is good. Now the height of the hat is at five inches right now. And once we add that scallop trim on there, that'll bring it up a little bit closer to the six inches. So as you can see, the measurements for the hat do fall within this range here. If you feel your hat is too big, if you have a newborn maybe on the smaller end, you could always go down a size and use your eye hook, 5.5 millimeter. Um, for this tutorial and for my patterns, I use the J hook six millimeter and I'm very happy with how the um, sizing has worked out. Now when I make things other than hats, I use the measurement like for clothing or my diaper cover, um, for those sorts of things, I use the measurements from the Craft Yarn Council. I really like the, those um, charts. so. And I'll be showing you that when I do my diaper cover. Okay, so let's get back to it. Now we're going to make the scallop trim for the hat. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and chain. Actually, no, you're not chaining two. Don't chain two. Keep your hook like this. Yarn over. Skip a stitch, and in the next stitch, I want you to make four double crochet. So you're making all four double crochet into the same stitch. So you sh should have um, a scallop that looks like that. Now we need to get that scallop to lay flat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip that next stitch. You're gonna skip this stitch. And in the next stitch, you're going to slip stitch. So insert your hook into that next stitch after you skip one. Pull your yarn through and pull it through the loop on your hook. I move closer here, sorry. Okay. So you slip stitched, and now that scallop lays flat against your hat, okay? So now you're gonna yarn over, skip that next stitch there, and in the following stitch, you're going to place four more double crochet. to lay flat. Okay, yarn over, skip a stitch, four more double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, skip a stitch, in the next stitch, slip stitch. In the next stitch, place four double crochet. Okay, skip a 
stitch in your next stitch when you slip stitch. So you can see the pattern is four double crochet, skip a stitch, slip stitch, skip a stitch, four double crochet, skip a stitch, slip stitch, skip a stitch, four double crochet, skip a stitch, slip stitch, skip a stitch, four double crochet. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. So I'm gonna skip the next stitch and the stitch after that. Four double crochet. Skip a stitch, slip stitch. Skip a stitch, four double crochet. Skip a stitch, slip stitch. to just slip stitch to <clears throat> that first double crochet where we joined the last round. Okay, pull that yarn through, snip off the end, pull that through. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to weave in this end here because we're done with this. Okay, so you're going to get your tapestry hook and thread your yarn. my hook or excuse me <clears throat> my tapestry and needle under those two loops there pull that tight then I'm gonna bring it back up and I'm going to put it through the back loop of the last double crochet <clears throat> excuse me okay pull that through and then just work that piece of yarn up into the hat Can you 
go into the inside of the hat and pull that magic ring tight and finish off that yarn as well. So let me flip this inside out. You can see here's the wrong side. Let me show you real quick. This is the right side and the wrong side. You can see how the right side looks much prettier. Okay, so I'm going to stay on the wrong side. Pull that string tight. Now, don't pull it too tight. This is where your hat starts. You don't want it to unravel, so you need to be, just pull it snug, but don't snap it. And then just weave that, that tail in. out okay now you are done with your hat for a while we're gonna make our ears and our unicorn horn and prepare the, the um, strands of yarn for the mane so what I like to do and I can't reach one from here but I usually will put whatever I am finished working on but don't need at the moment I'll put it in a Ziploc bag simply because I have three kids and a dog and I don't want anything to happen to all of that hard work. So at least then if it's near a drink that gets spilled or something, it's protected. So I'll just set this aside for now. Now we're going to make our two ears and I've actually already made one. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that. Now for the ears, I use my eye hook, the 5.5 millimeter eye hook. So I'm going to move my other hook out of the way so I don't accidentally grab that one. Okay, and you're using the same yarn. All right, you're going to go ahead and make a slip knot and chain six. single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One, two. And then continue the single crochet down. Okay. You will have five single crochet on your hook. Chain one and then just single crochet across. crochet in that first stitch. So one, two. Now for the next three stitches, two, three, you're going to put one single crochet in each. One, two, three. And in that last stitch there, you're going to place two single crochet. So at the end of this row, you should have seven stitches. Chain one, turn, and now you're just going to single crochet across. So one single crochet in each of those seven stitches. Chain one first and turn, and then that first stitch, 
you're going to place two single crochet then you're going to single crochet in five stitches and place two more st stitches two more single crochet in that last stitch so you chain one two single crochet in your first stitch in the next five stitches you're placing one single crochet each one there you're going to place two single crochet. chain one and for row seven you're going to do the same thing again one stitch in each stitch from the previous row so one single crochet in each stitch after this row we will begin decreasing start with single crocheting two together. So you're going to insert your hook under that first stitch, yarn over, pull it through, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now you're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. That will leave two stitches at the end for us to single crochet together. Two. stitches left we are going to single crochet those together insert your hook yarn over pull the yarn through insert your hook into the last stitch yarn over pull through you will have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through those three loops okay all right chain one turn your work and now you are placing one single crochet in each stitch across again so you're going to make another um, so you're going to single crochet two together so insert your hook yarn over pull through insert your hook yarn over pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops okay then you're going to single crochet in three stitches and that again will leave two stitches at the end for us to single crochet together Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops, excuse me, three loops on your hook. Yarn 
over. Hold through. All through. Okay. So you should now have five stitches left. So chain one and turn. You're going to single crochet in each stitch across. One. crochet two together. You're going to single crochet in one stitch and then you're going to oh, sorry, single crochet those last two stitches together. Okay. Chain one, turn, and since um the ponies or horse have pointy, pointier ears. We're gonna give our unicorn pointier ears. So we're actually going to single crochet those three stitches together. So insert your hook to the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook into the last stitch there, yarn over, pull through. You will have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. Okay, and now you're gonna single crochet around the edge of the hat. Okay, so just find those spaces where you can fit your hook and do it loosely. You don't want to pull it too tight or it will curl in more too much. You can see on this one, it'll curl in a little bit and that's okay. It looks cute, but you don't want it to curl in too much. So just do it, don't do it too tightly. join to that first single crochet that you made around the edge and there you have your second ear. Okay, make sure you leave enough of a yarn tail to sew onto your hat. Okay, so we have our two ears. Okay, and now we're going to make our unicorn horn. Worsted wheat yarn and my size H five millimeter crochet hook. I also have a stitch marker. Okay, I'm gonna start by creating a magic ring or a magic circle, and I'm going to make four single crochet. Okay, you want to make sure that you, for each round, that you are marking your first stitch. So the first stitch of each round, you're gonna add a stitch marker. Two, three. Four. Okay, now you're going to join to the top of that first single crochet. Keep slipping. Okay, pull your working yarn through, through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Okay, now you're going to chain one and you're going to begin round two. You're going to make one single crochet into that same stitch that you joined to. You're going to use your stitch marker and mark that first stitch. 
and then you're going to place one single crochet in each of the three remaining stitches from the previous round. It's good to use a stitch marker because it can get a little confusing, especially when your circle is so small here when you first start the horn. It looks like you have another stitch, but that's not a stitch. That's just where you joined. That's from the yarn reaching. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four. So now we're going to join again to our first crochet, excuse me, um, first single crochet. Pull your yarn through, pull it through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain one. And for this next round, you're going to alternate um, two single crochet, one single crochet. So in your first stitch, in that same stitch that you joined to, you're going to make two single crochet. Okay, now make sure that you're getting your yarn up onto the top of the hook here so that it's all the same size, otherwise you can get a little tight. So we have one and two. Okay, and this was my first stitch here. So I'm gonna use a stitch marker mark that stitch. Now I'm putting one crochet into that next stitch and then I'm going to do two. One, two, and then just one. Okay, now this, as you can see, this part is going to be the point of the unicorn hat. So before I join it, I'm going to actually pull tight on that initial <clears throat> yarn from the magic ring. And this is going to be coming from the inside of your horn, this piece of yarn, okay? So we need to flip it so that that is on the inside. Okay, and you can use your hook to help push that down. This will be much easier once you have a few more rows of your unicorn horn but I know it's a little difficult here at the beginning. Okay, so we have the, the um, yarn tail is coming from the middle here and eventually we'll snip that off. So now we're gonna go ahead and join. And as you're making your unicorn horn, you're gonna be alternating between around where you increase and around where you just single crochet around, okay? So I'm joining and I now have six single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one, single crochet into that same stitch. I'm going to use my stitch marker. And then I'm going to make five more single crochet. So one, two, sure that you're working with your working yarn. I've done that before where I've grabbed the tail and then I had to unravel my work. Three. Four and five. So I should have a total now of six stitches. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I didn't do a very good job showing you that, but that's six stitches. Okay, so now I'm gonna join. And now for round five, we are going to do two single crochet in our first stitch, and then we're gonna single crochet in two stitches, okay? So I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna place two single crochet into this first stitch that I joined to. So here's one and two. I'm going to use a stitch marker here to mark that. Okay. And then one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the stitch after that. And then now I'm going to do two single crochet again in this next stitch. So one, two. Okay. And then in the last two stitches, I'm going to place one single crochet. So 
So once again, we've increased by two because there are two, sing there are two stitches where we placed two stitches, which means this round, we increased it by a total of two stitches. So we should have eight stitches now, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna join. And once again, your next round is going to be one single crochet in each stitch, okay? So make sure you have your working yarn. You're gonna join, okay? Chain one, and then do one single crochet into each stitch around. So at the end of this round, you'll have eight stitches. So we are now at the end of row six, or end of round six, I should say. So for round seven, we're going to do two single crochet, and then we're going to do one single crochet into three stitches, okay? Make sure that you have your working yarn. So first I need to join. Oh, okay, so it looks like I missed a bit of my yarn there, so I need to fix this. I'm going to go back, get my yarn back onto the hook. Just make sure I have it all. Okay. All right, let me try that again. <laughs> Can you go ahead and join? Pull your yarn through the loop, through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to place two single crochet into that first stitch. And then, oh, and then I need to mark that first stitch with my stitch marker. And then in the next three stitches, I'm going to just place one single crochet. So one, two, and three. And now in the next stitch, I'm going to place two single crochet stitches. It's so hard to work with it. And it's a little here. It gets easier as it gets bigger. Two. Okay, and then in the last three stitches, I'm going to place one single crochet into each stitch. One. Two. And three. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay, so now we are at the end of round seven and we should have 10 stitches. We increased again by two. So for each round, you're gonna alternate by between, you're gonna be increasing by two, and then you're just gonna single crochet around. And then you increase by two, and then single crochet around. So we should now have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm going to join to the top of that first single crochet and always making sure I'm using my working yarn. I'm gonna pull it through the stitch and through the loop on my hook, chain one, and now I'm just going to place one single crochet into each stitch from the previous round. Mark that first stitch. That was one, not two. We just finished round eight. We have 10 stitches in the join. And then for round nine, 
we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch and then four in the next four stitches we'll do one single crochet in each and we're going to do that twice okay so chain one do two stitches in the first stitch one and two and once again I'm using my stitch marker to mark my first stitch and now I'm going to place one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and now once again in the next stitch, I'm going to do my two single crochets. So I'm increasing, so one, two, and then in the last four stitches, I'm going to place one single crochet into each of those. One, two, that stitch marker gets in the way, but it's very helpful, so I put up with it. <laughs> All right, so now at the end, of round nine, we should have 12 stitches. So let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we just increased. So once again, this next round, we're just gonna single crochet around. So you're gonna join, chain one, chain two, chain three, chain four, and place one single crochet into each of the 12 stitches from the previous round. So one, Marking that with my stitch marker. So now we are ready for round 11. And round 11, we're gonna join, and then we're gonna do the pattern of two single crochet in the first stitch, and then in the following five stitches, I'll put one single crochet in each, and then we'll repeat that again. So chain one. So I'm putting two single crochet in this first stitch that I joined to. And in the next five stitches, I'm going to just place one single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and now in the next stitch, you're going to increase and place two crochet, two single crochet. Five stitches and place one single crochet in each. One, two, So we just increased and this is round 11. So we should have a total of 14 stitches. So let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, and once again, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch for this next round. So this is round 12. Okay, so I'm going to chain one. Okay, 
mark that first stitch. We'll have a total of 14. So one, two, three, four, and 14. Okay. You can see I'm starting to form here. All right, so and I'm gonna pull that yarn tail from the inside nice and tight and just snip it off because I don't want it in my way anymore and I think it's long enough now. Okay, so now we just finished round 12, so now we're going to start round 13, and now we're going to do two single crochet in the first, and then in the next six stitches, we'll place one single crochet. So you're going to join. Chain one. Two single crochet in that same stitch that you joined to. And two. It gets a little easier now now that it's bigger and there are more stitches, it's not such a small circle. So now I'm gonna do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. In the next stitch I'm going to place two single crochet. So one, and then in the last six stitches, I'll put one single crochet in each. One, two, We should have 16 stitches. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Perfect. Okay, and then again for the next round, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch. So you're going to join. Chain one, single crochet into that same stitch mark your first stitch. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, So we just finished round 14. So once again, you can join to the top of that first single crochet and then four 
round 15, we're gonna do two single crochet in the first stitch, and then in the next seven stitches, we're gonna do one single crochet. So chain one, two single crochet in that first stitch. Place a stitch marker in the top of that first stitch. And then in the next seven, we're doing one single crochet. Now in the next stitch, you're gonna place two single crochet. One, two, and then in the last seven, you're just gonna place one single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, Six and seven. So again, we increase by two, so now we should have 18 stitches. So let's count them. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right, and then again in the next round, which is round 16. Just one single crochet into each stitch. So once again, joining in the top of that first stitch. Chain one. One single crochet into that first stitch. Mark that first stitch with your stitch marker. And then you should have 18. So two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. single crochet all right so now for the next round you're going to this is the increase round so you're going to chain one and place two single crochet into that first stitch and then in the next eight stitches you're going to place one single crochet and again you're going to keep marking that first stitch That's why you count because I got distracted there and just kept going. So I should have my first two and then I should have eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so then that one I already, this is the stitch where I'm supposed to increase. I already put one in there because I was daydreaming and just kept going. So I'm just gonna add my second stitch into that. My, my second single crochet into that stitch. And now I should have eight stitches left for this round. So I'm going to single crochet once into each of those. All right. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Oops. That was five. Six. So now I should have 20, so let's count them. Alrighty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Alright. You're going to join, chain one, single crochet once in each stitch. Okay. So you join to the top of that first single crochet from the previous round. Chain one. And then you're going to place one single crochet into each stitch. So that's one, two, now ready to assemble our unicorn hat. So we have the hat that we made, we have our unicorn horn, and we have our two ears. The first thing I'm going to do is stuff the unicorn horn with polyfill. Here, let me show you what that is. Polyfill here. Okay, you can use it for pillows, dolls, stuffed toys, and crafts. And we are going to use it to stuff our unicorn horn. I like to take the end of a crochet hook to help me stuff the polyfill into the unicorn horn. Um, I like to make sure it's stuffed pretty tight, that way it stands up. Um, you don't want it flopping over, that wouldn't look very cute. And you can't really see it through. We used... Um, our H hook and single crochet, so there's not a lot of space between the stitches there. So, just try to make sure it's not lumpy. That's why I like to do a little bit at a time rather than putting a bunch in at once. Okay, make sure none of it's sticking out edge. I'm gonna add a little bit more there at the base. To do is we want to get our um, tapestry hook, thread the yarn end onto your tapestry hook, tapestry needle. Okay, all right. So now, when we put the unicorn horn on our hat, we want to make sure that our joining seam 
is in the back of the hat, okay? We don't want that in the front. It's not very pretty, okay? Um, now, when I add a unicorn horn to a hat that is like a zero, three months, three, six, six, 12 months, I typically will do it maybe right here. Um, so like one row down, attach it here, between here and here. Um, when I make the child, toddler, or adult size hat, I will typically move it down an extra row just because otherwise it looks like it's sitting up so high on the hat since there's more rows of stitches for the larger hats. So I'm going to take my um, tapestry needle and then just insert it one row down and I have it, the um, joining seam is in the back there. And the um, horn typically takes up three rows. So the space that it will need, you can see one, two, three rows. So I'm actually going to, on the inside, I'm gonna stick my needle through and then join it here so that I have sort of like the back half and the front half attached. And then I'll just go around and add those stitches. Or not stitches, but um, sew in those sides. circular shape at the base. You're just going to go around and secure your unicorn horn to the hat. Try not to skip any stitches. You can always make the horn in a different color. You can make the hat in it, you know, a different color too, of course. There's so many options. Okay, and then when you start the other side, just make sure it's keeping that circular shape. There you go. So now your unicorn horn is attached to the top of the hat. Okay, so this is the front here. Okay. All right, so now we're going to attach the ears. Okay, now remember where you ended, where you joined, that is the top of the ear. This is the base of the ear where you started. So this was where you made your initial chain six. Okay. This is the part you're attaching to the hat. So you're going to thread the yarn onto your tapestry needle. And then the important thing is to keep your horn centered between the two ears, okay? 
Now I usually come down one, two, between two and three rows for the ears. Um, I think I'm going to do two rows for this because it's a smaller hat. So I'm just going to thread my yarn through those stitches and this will take you, so I did it at the end, so round one, round two, I attached it there between two and three and it'll probably be over three and four that I'm going to attach it to the hat down the side. I hope that makes sense. Attached. Now this yarn I'm going to weave back and forth and thread it down the ear into the hat. Now I ended with my yarn just now on this side so I'm going to try to get this yarn to end over here and then that way it'll provide a little more stability for the ear having it attached to the hat that way. to go in, into the inside of the hat. Now with your two ends being so far apart, if I were to tie them off like this, it would scrunch this together and I don't want to do that to the ear. So I'm just going to thread this yarn over to the other side on the inside of the hat. So it's still providing support on the outside, but this way we won't mess up anything when we tie it off. And I'm just going to tie it. I don't know. And I know that there are different ways of weaving in your ends and finishing things off. This is just how I do it. So, and um, when you weave those ends in and snip them off, weave them towards the front of the hat because we'll be adding the mane down the back of the hat and we don't want to get in the way of that. Okay, so I'm just going to thread them forward. And you really don't, I think I worry about this part too much. Um, I worry about things coming apart, but honestly, when I've had to take things apart before, I had a hard time even finding where my yarn was because it was so weaved in there. So I wouldn't stress about it. It's very unlikely that it's gonna come apart. And I just snip those ends off. While I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that yarn end from the horn. Now this is just one piece that so we have nothing to tie it to, so I'm going to try to like tie it around that piece right there, maybe. And then just weave it back and forth. This whole space is covered by the horn on the other side, so you're not going to see this yarn that I'm weaving back and forth. Okay, just make sure. Can't see anything from the outside, and we're good. All right, I'm gonna snip that off. All right, and now we're going to attach the other ear. So now I really need to take care that we keep the horn centered. Um. So again, this is good thing I checked. This is the top of the ear. This is the bottom. This is the part we are attaching. Now, when we attached it over here, we started two rows down and we were attaching from the top down the side of the hat. On this side, we're actually gonna be starting further down the hat and then sewing up the hat. So we need to start lower on the hat as opposed to starting up here. Um, we're gonna be starting where we ended with this ear. Okay, so let's count here. We have one, two, three, 
four. So this ear ended on the fourth row. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And that should be about even. One, two, three, four. It ended on the inside. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to start attach it there. That looks about even. Okay, so let me go ahead and and I didn't really leave myself very much yarn here when I made that initial chain. I hope you guys didn't make that mistake. I don't think I said anything when I did that, so hopefully you're okay. Um, okay, so attach that, and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to whoops, sew it onto the hat. And I'm going to try to make my last, the last spot where I sew the same as the first spot on this side. So one, two, about, so about right there. through to the other side okay and then going to do the same thing here so I ended with my yarn here I'm going to try to get this to end over on this side I don't know why I say try to it's not hard to do that just pass it over tying the ears off, that last ear off. Now we're going to go ahead and attach our, um, our yarn. So the colors that I use that I love are the pastel colors. I guess they're pastel, they're like a lighter rainbow. Um, I've already cut a whole bunch for myself. Um, I cut extra because I'm hoping I'll have enough to also make the tutorial for the, um, diaper cover but so here are the colors I have I use I cut 13 inch strips because um, that should be plenty long enough for our hat 13 inch strips of pink I do pink purple blue green and yellow now this yarn is from AC Moore it's the Nicole stitch studio um, let me see here. I have a package right here that has it. This is a different color, but I can show you what the label looks like. Um, it's the Stitch Studio Studio Classic by Nicole, and it's available at AC Moore. Um, if I can find it online, I'll link to it below for you. I'll link to these exact colors. So everything here, all of this is the Nicole Stitch Studio yarn. And if I can find them online again, I'll link to them so that you can, if you want to make the exact same hat, you'll be able to do that. Okay, so now we're going to start attaching the mane. So the first color I use is pink. And I like to start here between the ears. And then sometimes I'll add a little bit to the front too, depending on how it looks. Every hat, you know, ends up looking a little bit different, but that's okay. Um, so what I do is I take my crochet hook and I pass it underneath that double crochet there. And then I use two pieces of yarn at a time. So I'll take my two pieces of pink yarn, I fold it in half, and then I put that folded end on my hook. I pull it through just like that. And now I'm going to pass that yarn through, pull it snug, and then I like to just tie a knot. That way I know that it's not coming apart. And I usually work back and forth. <laughs>
It's okay if the yarn's too long. You're gonna give your unicorn a haircut at the end. Get everything trimmed to the length you want it to be. go ahead and attach to these pieces here so that front half the front circle of the um, magic ring so remember we had initially made 12 double crochet for our magic ring the ones that are in front of the ears I'm going to attach yarn to those as well and you can do this however you want you can use different colors you could do bangs, you could do a really thin strip down the middle. I, for one of the um, hats, my, I made a unicorn hat with a thicker yarn and I posted that pattern on my blog, I can link to it below. But when I attached the hair, I ended up pulling, so this is four ply yarn. I pulled each ply apart and it gave it a really neat look. do that too or you could make those curly Q the spirals or corkscrew I have a um, tutorial on my website on how to make the corkscrews you could do that too you could do two of each color and just do two center them down that would look super cute actually the picture for that YouTube tutorial the image the cover of it was so the curly cues were the ones I had made for a main for a Remo Dash hat that my daughter wanted. I think she has it on her American Girl doll. I made I made a newborn size, so it was way too small for her. It's too big for her doll though, but she loves it. stitch to cover yarn attached so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the purple so I'm gonna flip that hair forward and then for the purple it's gonna be attached just right behind that row I'm actually going to remove this one this should be purple I don't know why I have that there okay so now I'm just gonna do a row of purple across The hook I'm using to do this is a uh, clover hook set size 7 to 4.5 millimeter. But you could use a larger hook or a smaller hook. I just happen to have it nearby.
I really recommend cutting all of the hair, all of the um, strands of yarn before you start. I've done it before where I would cut as I was attaching and it's just, it's just so much easier to just get the cutting out of the way and then you can focus on attaching the hair. So here I'm going to do the opposite. So this is the other side of the magic ring. On this side I'm going to attach purple. I guess it's not the opposite. It's the opposite side. <laughs> Okay, so I think I probably get the idea here. So you're just going to finish that row of purple and then you'll attach a row, if you want it to look like mine, a row of blue and then a row of green and then a row of yellow. So I'm going to stop here and I'll meet you back to when we get to the yellow and then I'll show you how I trim the hair. Okay, so now all of our hair is attached, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and trim the hair, okay? So I'm just going to make sure all of the hair is going in the same direction. Okay? And then you can lay it down. And then you just go to the bottom. I can't see. I'm just going to snip. And I don't like to take a bunch and cut at once because I don't want it to be like a blunt edge. I like to take one or two strands at a time and just trim it like this. And make sure that's how the hat will look when it's on a head. You want to make sure like you mimic the hat being full. That way you're not cutting it in a weird way. Um, looks like it's really just for the bottom yarn that really needs to be trimmed. I think the purple, pink are okay. pretty good all right guys so there you have it the pastel unicorn hat um I hope this tutorial was helpful for you if it was please hit the subscribe button down here in the corner um like this video comment if there's anything else you would like for me to make a tutorial on I am going to be making the matching diaper cover tutorial that'll be obviously in a separate video but I will place a link to that below um, and if I can find these yarn colors for you um, I will link to those for you as well okay thanks